Thanks for your company. The details now. Until a year ago, the Hacho Agbogba route was a traffic free road which provided an alternative for residents of Pantang, Oyarefa, Old Shoman, and Agbogba who wanted to avoid the main highway to the central business district of Accra. But the situation is no longer the same as more tourists now endure traffic hours on end due to a contractor's decision not to return a 10 meter part of their stretch to its original state after cutting through to expand a bridge. As my colleague Elton Broby reports, aside from causing enormous traffic during rush hour, the area has also become an accident hotspot. It's the morning rush hour here on the Agboba Hachu Road. Now, this road stretches all the way to Pantan, uh, Abokobi, and it's a very busy road. And for those who live on this particular stretch, especially I'm talking about Abokobi, I'm talking about Pantan, I'm talking about Oyarefa, this particular stretch, constructed some 10 years ago, has always provided a shortcut all the way to the central business district. If you want to avoid the traffic on the Medina Road, this is your best shot. But in the last one year, this road has become a major traffic problem. The reason is very simple. A year ago, government decided to award a contract for the expansion of this particular bridge because until this bridge was expanded, this bridge had experienced a lot of flooding. So government thought it wise to allow for the expansion of this particular bridge. And as you can see, the, the, the bridge has been expanded. It is now able to take in so much water addressing the flooding situation in this particular area. Now, in the expansion of the bridge, the contractor decided to cut through this asphalted or bitumen road, which is about just uh, 10 meters, uh, and then to allow for unimpeded works. So this particular stretch was blocked to vehicular traffic. Now, it's been eight months since work came to an end on the expansion of the bridge. But the effect of the construction is what we are seeing here. The contractor, in his own wisdom, it is difficult to explain, decided not to reverse the road back to its original position before the cutting to ensure the expansion of the bridge. And the effect is what you are seeing today. Every morning, for productive hours, many of it is lost through vehicular traffic on this road. And the reason is just what you are seeing here, just 10 meters of untied road uh, occasioned by the contractor who expanded the bridge to allow for intake of more water and for many vehicle owners it has become a morning uh, routine for them to go through traffic all because once they get here all of them have to slow down their vehicle to ensure they are, they are able to drive through the untied road just 10 meters the untied road to be able to get to the central business district. And for many of them, uh, it is a nightmare. For those who've done analysis on the impact of uh, uh, vehicle traffic congestion on human development, they say that it results in air pollution. It also can result in high blood pressure and other you know, ailments that you know, we can talk about. So how are people who live on this road, how are they uh, facing this on a daily basis? Let's speak to some of the drivers who ply this road uh, on a daily basis, uh, the frustration they go through trying to avoid the traffic occasioned by the contracted decision not to return the road to its original position during the expansion of the bridge to address the flooding situation in this area. So, Charles, we are a taxi driver. And we are a taxi driver. 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 I had last accident because of the way, rough road way, accident. Finish this, Yamanko and Kabu Kunipa, Mibatoso, V8, Lazos, or Sofu Bika, but I'm putting a body. I'm a cheat, sir. I do the high up, who touch us now say, we are anti boys here, I'm going to let you go to the car, Native Faso. Traffic be bread, be a high. A strap on my mind. You are almost here, Kwame, said Yab, said Sabri, you are two years to cry ever. But you could tell us in two hundred by my mind. Mas aonde eu vou trabalhar aqui na Elcon? Eu trabalho aqui. E tu me diz isso a coisa é show mãe. So, so what Charles is telling us is that uh, the 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 situation here, which is as a result of the contractor's uh, decision to cut through 
uh, during the construction of the bridge has resulted in uncontrolled traffic on this stretch. And as a driver, uh, he has had to spend so much when repairing his vehicle as a result of the impact the road is having on vehicular movement. And there's also been uh, some accidents on this particular stretch. Uh, I you may be also, and you may quite a serious. Hey, where's Masa? And you may would like to be a how do you buy beer and ye? Who do you buy beer and ye? Traffic business, ah, because he was going to say, I go to Johnson. I have so you to me to swallow, because he has shown mine. Never be able to quite more, but it is too private for you. Oh, my breast, ah, yet that's for an apartment in the West. Quite, can you get to away? I mean, who's is Cadu on the West? I do it. At that was a massa. A brand funny bro. All right. Ever, do you say, I buy some more boy? Now, how dear, and now, dear, I was a dear, a Timmy Chakra. Uh, Alright, thank you very much. So what what Charles is saying is that they, they, they are appealing to government to as a matter of agency get the contractor to come back on site to at least return the road back to its original position. Uh, so that they can have the luxury uh, to drive their cars to avoid the unnecessary maintenance they are undertaking on their vehicles. So tell us, how is life like in the morning on this particular road? Terrible, horrible, horrible. Every morning we would have to be in traffic for more than 30 minutes before you cross, crossing this path. Every morning. Why? Uh, just this small thing over, over here that needs to be fixed. I mean, it's been here for almost about... Yeah, and we don't understand them. What are our leaders doing to us? And in Ivory, it's even worse. It's it's worse. Yesterday, I was traveling from uh, Navrongo. When I got here, I forgot. I look, I I nearly had an accident here. I nearly had an accident here, and this is reducing pr productivity. Is reducing, you, you know, wasting. Pe pe I mean, it's it's terrible, boss. What, 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 what is the appeal? Because obviously, I understand that the contractor was brought in to expand the bridge. That work is done. Yes. And instead of returning the road back to its original, uh, the state in which he found it, is, it is over a year and no work has been done. What is the appeal to government and the roads minister? We appeal to them to come fix this thing. Because eventually, it's, it's going to deteriorate the, 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 the entire road. So we appeal to them that they should move your mobile and then fix it for us. All right. It's not good at all. We are suffering here. We are suffering here. Very, 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 very it's, it's too bad. Okay, it's too bad. We need the help, please. So, so for, 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 for example, how, how many minutes or hours do you spend just to cross this 10 meter uh, uh, obstacle? <laughs> at times, just, uh, uh, if one hour or two hours. I won't lie to you. Mm. From, uh, what do you call it, Agbuba, let me say, uh, Cemetery Junction, mm. coming here. You can take more, more, more than two hours. And in the evening too is the same all the way from KFC back home. Yes, please. It's, it's not good at all. We are suffering. We are suffering a lot. So, so you, you use this road on a regular basis. Tell me the frustration you go through every morning and in the evening as well. Especially, there's a lot of traffic on the way, and which is not good. I think the government have to I mean, do something better on the road because there's a lot of people living here, and the traffic is too much. Sometimes you use about two hours before going to office, and which is bad. So I believe. With this interview, I think the authority will take note of it and they will come and do something better with this route. What we have realized is that the traffic is simply an issue of self-inflicted decision yeah. by a contract which decided not to return the road to, it, to its original position. And the reason is, 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 is this traffic. What, what do you want government to do uh, to, to fix what has been left unattended to? I don't know. Maybe they have given the, the road to a contractor whereby it's not coming to do their job or because of financial issue. I don't know. But I think uh, with this interview, I believe that the government will take notice of it and come and do something better on the road. Because it becomes so much frustration. When you see this, and we are paying road there too. When you don't pay the road, when the, the police stop you, they will take, they will, they will charge you, and which is bad. And down the day, we the people, the citizens are suffering, and which is not good. And this, we want the government to take notice of it and come and do something better on this road. Because there's a lot, see, almost the time now. It's, it's, it's almost 10. And look, look at the traffic. Even when you're going to the office, look at this. And it's become too much. 
and insist that the government and the, the contractors, they are not serious with us, with the citizens of Ghana, and which is, which is bad. The Hacho, Agoba Road, which until a year ago was the place uh, folks who wanted to uh, avoid the Medina traffic would use to get to their final destination has also become a major traffic destination simply because of the actions of a contractor. The appeal is to the government and the roads ministry to get the contractor back on the road and then return the road back to its original position if the expansion works on the bridge is completed with. My name is Elton Brobe from the Boba Hatch Road reporting for Joy News.